We'll head to our correspondent, Lionel Assisi. He's already up, up bright and early, and why not? Because uh, he wants to beat a lot of people to the uh, streets, to the polls, and see what's happening. Let's get to Lionel Lassisi. He's standing by to bring us up to speed. Lionel, what is happening in Quara at the moment? I like that intro. It sounded like it was going to be a sports thing, you know, we're going for a match or something. Well, I'm, I'm here in Ilori right now, uh, precisely at um, Ilori Grammar School. And then the, the people here have been correcting me that it's, it's IGS. I say, okay, I get it. It's IGS. But that's Ilori Grammar School. And um, uh, very early, we got here like 6 a.m., and it was interesting to already meet people sitting out here waiting. Voters that were already on ground, even trying to, you know, make sure they pick their place in the line before people come. And 7 o'clock, the place was looking fairly busy. You can see behind me here a lot of people. All these people had gotten here before the ad hoc staff. The ad hoc staff walked in like three, five minutes ago, and you can see them still trying to uh, unpack their bags and uh, begin the process. They're going to set up, and um, they have a mandate. I spoke to the uh, resident electoral commissioner yesterday, and he said his own um, plan is that all uh, his ad hoc staff should be ready by 7.30. These people here are cutting it really close, but we're going to be monitoring to see how well they do to ensure that the elections commence as they should at 8 a.m. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Uh, at the moment, that's uh, uh, Larry just giving us some fresh info. But in terms of how... Uh, the people are conducting themselves. Larry, do they have any apprehension whatsoever about uh, the security situation or they're just all willing to go out there no matter what happens and cast their ballot? Well, the atmosphere I've um, seen here has just been pleasant. It's uh, from yesterday driving around town, people have just been going about their businesses. There, there's been no apprehension in there. And the people I've spoken with were really at, they were just waiting for today to come and cast their vote. And this morning when I got here, it was really just very interesting. People were walking in and um, knowing where they had voted and we hear them telling themselves, hey, this is our line, right? 004, holy unit. And uh, we have the elderly, we have the young, all of them coming, sitting. And understanding that this takes place around some sort of um, uh, local area where people tend to know themselves and it appears they've come out to vote a lot. There's been just that cordial air. They've been chatting, just waiting. So right now I can tell you that what the atmosphere here is calm. It's pleasant. There's, no, any, there's nothing you can say makes people worried that there might be any security concerns. And our prayers that it remains that way. Any idea in terms of what the mindset of the people is because uh, it's still going to be the continuous accreditation and voting uh, that will take place from 8 o'clock today. Uh, do you uh, get any sense that when some people cast their ballots even as early as 8, they may just wait up until who knows when, until when the results are announced? Have you heard anybody say any such thing this time? Uh, no, I haven't. But uh, usually what happens at uh, this sort of thing is that there's some that wait. Most of the people who come early will come, vote early, go. Time when the elections will be rounding up, let's say, two, if it starts early, then you might see some of them return. Um, because the point a lot of them will be interested in is the collation and the result. So for these early birds, they will stay here, cast their votes, and I'm sure go back and then generally just uh, chill till uh, later in the day. But then other people will be coming up. And, you know, the elections will start from 8 and end 2. If it starts at 8, it will end 2. It's from 2 o'clock, collation will start. So we might then get a sense of how the turnout is, which will also indicate the interest they have in the results. Well, uh, uh, some time ago, uh, I mean, speaking about yes. security in terms of how they are going to conduct themselves on the day, what are you seeing or hearing? Uh, will we have 
uh, the police alongside civil defense, the military, any idea, any information whatsoever in terms of how they will be conducting or coordinating themselves today? Interestingly, it appears um, the police, there was a police unit that appeared to have camped out here or um, stayed the night here. So uh, when we got here early around 6 a.m., they were just setting up. But um, it appears the unit that is stationed here, where just, they just moved and were already on ground. That's for the police. So they were on ground. And as we've been here, um, I, I've seen other security, other offici uh, officials or officers of other security agencies, just as you mentioned, the uh, civil defense, they've come in, and um, other uh, security of officers have come in. Uh, but just to be clear, there are about three, I'm told, four um, polling units here, so we'll see a fair number. So that would also help to guarantee the security here. But I can say I haven't seen any military uh, presence, and I shouldn't expect to since we are in here. They should be uh, maybe on the highways or some way out. So for now, I, I would say the presence I've seen here appears to be good. I'll be able to tell when they set up and break into the different polling units. Then it will give me an idea. But I also think the fact that the, uh, there's a gathering of polling units here would also add to the presence of the security people here and also uh, add to the, uh, the presence of uh, security and maybe deter anybody who has uh, thoughts of doing anything here. Larry, I know it's going to be a tough day and a very busy day, but maybe we'll come back to you much later so you can tell us about whether or not uh, coalition officers were changed or any such information flying around or making the rounds. Well, that's our correspondent, uh, Larry Lassisi, giving us uh, up to speed in terms of what's happening in Quara State. Very interesting one. Oh, yeah, I didn't get a chance to say good morning to you. I really apologize for that. <laughs> good morning. Good to be here. It was just a crazy morning. Oh. But yes, indeed. Uh, so but we'll come back to this uh, in a moment. Stay with us.